Uh, Derek Webster, who is data center development, uh, who works in data center development in EMEA at Yahoo. Uh, Derek, thank you for joining us at Data Center Dynamics in London. Thank you. Um, Derek just gave a, a very, very well received presentation, taking into account some of the uh, really spectacular uh, investments and uh, innovative uh, design and builds that you've uh, recently commissioned, uh, that recently have come on, come on site. Um, I wanted to kick off today by ta asking you, uh, well, given that you're, you famously have a, a chicken coop <laughs> data center in uh, Lockport in New York, um, uh, is the, the which came first, uh, the location or the design? Uh, so it's the classic chicken and egg question. Yeah, uh, I'd, I'd like to say to take it just one step back. Um, it was, what exactly was the business need? Um, uh, how much do you really need to spend? How do you juice your OPEX cost? Which then focused on what design gives you the benefit of less CAPEX, reduced OPEX, and to get the performance you actually want to service provide the client base. That then moves into a design brief, um, uh, which is very much a uh, return on investment uh, appraisal, you take that and then you look for your location and, mm -hmm. and absolutely key uh, to, to that are three things. Uh, the fibre has to be in the right place at the right speed, the right latency, uh, the uh, free cooling model uh, was absolutely key in terms of unlocking capital plant that you have to buy and reducing the OPEX and then uh, finally the location outside the cities of the inter internet were very very important not only were they cheaper uh, there's carbon reduction advantages that you get you could uh, um, not get your power from uh, coal or oil base it could be hydro uh, it could be more greener forms of 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 energy so the location um, came from the from the design and they basically matched because by going wide in your locations we ended it up saving on cost of land the cost of water the cost of power so you, you did you did you define the set of parameters and say and say this is this is our business needs from so from a business we know where we're going to go and then we designed a, designed a set of parameters and then we, you know, did you go to a, a, a almost a tick boxing uh, uh, exercise in order to uh, uh, tick off the the uh, uh, the benefits that that would be uh, delivered the, the the deciding upon the location. I'm asking in the context yeah. because there's, there's obviously a lot of competition for yes. location uh, 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 to attract that. Yeah, I mean, there's there's the um, the budgets that you need to spend to provide the service of your clients mm -hmm. and it's looking at what do we really need to uh, spend and it became very very clear that the established model of building in conurbations where most people are, you know, build on the edge of a city um, there's legacy designs in place uh, so we uh, looked for the, we basically looked for where the value was and the value was not in legacy designs and legacy locations um, and it was pretty clear that the design we were we needed to drill our cost down also pushed us into cleaner wider spaces so one kind of went with the other. Okay, so it was a match. Now the, the plan, I believe, is now to roll this out globally. There's the, there, there was a uh, publicised, well publicised uh, uh, deal that you signed to uh, open or build and operate a uh, next data centre in Switzerland. Yep. Um, and again, were the same factors applied to uh, choosing that location and uh, to how you were actually going to, uh, uh, to bring on that 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 next facility? Similar, yes. Uh, the principle is very, very similar again. Um, Switzerland has 90% uh, carbon neutral power source sources, very, very attractive to, to us, reasonably competitive power rate, um, lots of free cooling advantages, uh, well, well serviced by fibre, also close enough to Europe to provide the service to the clients we actually need. Um, with the Switzerland project, uh, we decided not to go for Greenfield sites because there was a building that had the natural attributes to fit the design and from a carbon footprint level, it was greener to keep the building and modify it than it was to start from 
a leveled site. But when you say fit the design, so the cooling principles will be the similar to those that were applied the to the to the lock port. Cooling, the cooling principle is exactly the same. The chicken coop principle of drawing free air, um, evaporative cooling in times of um, of um, need, and uh, um, venting to outside air. Uh, that principle remains the same. Final question um, I wanted to ask you was about the strategic direction of the company. You've clearly gone for a build, <coughs> excuse me, over buy strategy. Mm -hmm. um, how is that going to roll out? Um, and what are the factors that, that are going to uh, uh, drive that forward? Mm. And there's there's obviously capacity issues, making sure that you're providing your uh, clients with the right service within global geographical every area so uh, what we're trying to do is to meet growth and demand by uh, building new and um, with our existing sites we were looking at well for which quite quite a few are nearing their capacity um, we can take a uh, view well uh, there's now an economy of understanding of capex versus opex within a colo that the, the strategy to self-build is um, clear. Uh, so it's self-funding, uh, single tenant owner occupier, uh, the numbers add up for us uh, to look at the lessons we, we have actually learnt in the uh, chicken coop design and by building wide um, it just makes it clear that uh, the global strategy moving forward um, is to build more of our own to address capacity needs. Fantastic. Okay. Derek, that's great. Thank you very much indeed for joining me today. Thank you very much.